Hello everyone, this is just a video um, also to keep myself reminded of how I as an instructor has to use Evolve to use the different resources given to me um, as my books um, embedded into the Evolve site. So when I log into my Evolve website, I have several books that have been assigned to me as an instructor. So what I'm trying to do right now is try to use those resources in creating my coursework. So I will use one of my books here, step by step. Um, and I have been um, given some of these resources on the left side that I as an instructor can access. So I can go to the question bank from here, but the way I work, I would like to go to under the course content in my content home. I will click on resources and then on instructor materials because this is where I get my test banks. I will scroll down, get to the test banks. I have several other choices, but the reason I'm doing this video is for me to remember how to get to the test bank and um, get to my questions and use those question answers to create assignments, tests, and quizzes. So right now, I'm in the test bank with an Evolve website. And the chapter I'm looking for is Cardiovascular System, um, which is here, chapter 17. Now, I can just look at the question views. I can create a... a of an assignment or quiz right here but it will be only on the Evolve website so what I'm trying to do here is to um, what you may call it um, is to, to, to gain some access to question answers so I can create an assignment for myself another thing I want to remind myself of course is if I go back to the to the source which is content home and resources again. I have several other um, practice exercises that I can also use. Um, in other, these are all answers keys to your workbook which we can use here if, if we are using our um, book so we will get some answers from there then ready-made tests are also a good resource for your um, assistance in making questions answers or assignments so here we go again chapter 17 is something that i'm interested in which is for cardiovascular system and i can have the same access look and to find different questions so these are different questions from the ones that i saw on the actual question sheet so i have a lot of choices in uh, in finding these questions and they are a very good resource for me all right guys another thing I wanted to show myself was where I will see the chapters and the um, um, the content of this book so when I go to to, to I had the difficulty finding, I had the same difficulty finding before. So I want to go into teach lesson plans. And in this section, now I see it, you can see the lesson plans of the whole thing. You can click on them to find the PowerPoints. Like all of these have PowerPoints here, which you can use to also able to teach these subjects. And there are some really good subjects. Of course, we all know as a coder, we have to constantly um, work on these things. So if you want to download it, save it on your computer and um, Have a PowerPoint for yourself. Well, this is a lesson plan. It's not a PowerPoint. Let's see what this is Hmm. Uh, I guess the question answers too. Oh, I'm not sure what that is But anyways, um, some kind of lesson plan to read. What I was trying to find was the PowerPoint. So let's see if we can find PowerPoints here. I know there are PowerPoints here. So let's go to the Teach Lesson Plans. 
and uh, scroll down a little bit. Here we go. PowerPoint slides. Oh, shoot. So hard to find. Anyway, so this is where you will find your PowerPoint slides. So let's click on one of them and see if we can. I will not download yet. Now, I have a PowerPoint for chapters 11 to 14 in my ICD 10 book. And uh, it's a great PowerPoint. Not too much inf information given to me, though. Anyways, just a little review of what we have on step-by-step -step book and how we can use those towards our um, creating our teaching material. Thank you for watching, guys. You have a great day.